Hey, you know what nobody has ever said? I want less Zilla. There's too much Zilla around here. <laughs> The Mozilla Foundation, <laughs> the parent organization of the Mozilla Company, purveyors of the world's fifth most popular web browser, is eliminating its global programs and advocacy divisions. That advocacy was centered on fighting for a free and open internet, something that hasn't really gotten less important recently. While the foundation says that this is a fight that remains core to their mission, they are revisiting how they pursue that work. This restructuring comes with layoffs for 30% of Mozilla's roughly 120 employees. That's a lot, which is actually the second round of layoffs this year, following 60 job losses on the company side in February. All in all, it's a significant loss in capacity and there isn't an obvious successor to take up the advocacy slack. Chrome's too busy waging a war against ad block extensions and Edge acknowledges neither the law of God nor man. Edge just gonna edge. <laughs> Not all hope is lost, however, as the Internet Archive is once again archiving web pages following a month long hiatus due to a cyber attack. Users will once again be able to capture important but ephemeral web pages using the archive's Save Page Now feature. The Internet Archive also says that the backlog of pages requested by users while the archive was down are now being processed. It's not entirely clear why the Internet Archive has become such a target for hackers, given that it's not affiliated with any government and it doesn't have a lot of spare cash. This is like getting mad at the global world order. So you set fire to a community center. Lawn bowling had it coming. Reviews are in for AMD's Ryzen 7 9800X3D. And so far, it sounds like Dr. Lisa Su has a chart topping new single on her hands. Rising up. The 9800X3D blows Intel's new top of the line chips out of the water. And by new top of the line chips, I mean the one from last gen. But doom, all right. Pretty much every review is singing this chip's praises, but Hardware Unboxed saw it get up to 26.5% better than the Core i9-14900K and 33% better than the Core Ultra 9-285K. See how that works? It's not just gaming though, there are also some pretty significant productivity improvements. You're gonna be able to run so many instances of Bonsai Buddy. Of course, the big change that has allowed for this show-stopping performance is the addition of that 3D V-Cache. Even more so than AMD's first gen 3D V-Cache, which was placed on top of the die, causing potential cooling issues. Now the cache is under the processor, meaning you can even overclock this thing, which they already said. If that's not enough, you might be interested to know that Zhang Zhang Hao, uh, a reliable source of hardware leak, says that their supply chain contacts confirm that AMD is working on an X3D version of a Zen 5 Threadripper. Further, the next generation Strix Halo APUs will likely see 3D vCache upgrade as well on the more high-end AMD laptops. Honestly, this would be a completely happy story if it wasn't for Pat Gelsinger standing at the back of this room, manfully refusing to cry. And womanfully and childrenfully. Any, any fully you want. Jarvis, Google's rumored AI agent that couldn't use your computer for you, has been officially confirmed thanks to reliable leaker Google, who accidentally published an internal preview on the Chrome web browser extension store. It's been taken down, but you didn't miss out on much. The current build doesn't have the right access permissions yet, so users who downloaded it weren't able to get it to work. Google planned to publicly reveal Jarvis in December alongside its next big LLM release, but you know how it is. It's, it's only the first week of November, but you're already hearing Mariah Carey. Jarvis, whose name is almost certainly inspired by Tony Stark's AI butler, is intended to be a helpful online assistant that can collect information, do your shopping, or book travel tickets. That being said, if you've ever had an Instacart shopper replace your cremini mushrooms with a big bag of jumbo marshmallows, you can probably guess that these kinds of simple tasks can turn out to be quite a bit more complex in practice. It's also notable that literally every big company with skin in the AI game is doing the exact same thing right now. Anthropic, AI agent, OpenAI, AI agent, Microsoft, first party spyware that takes a picture every three seconds for your own good, but it's cool this time. You know what else is cool? Our sponsor. UPDF. At some point in your life, you're gonna need to edit a PDF. And if you don't have a PDF editor, well, 
You're gonna feel pretty silly. Thankfully, UPDF has a suite of comprehensive editing tools. Text, images, watermarks, links, and more can be edited to your heart's content. It's available on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, and you can take your editing across devices thanks to 20 gigabytes of included cloud storage. Split or merge PDFs for convenient editing, or annotate using 100 annotation and markup tools. There's AI features to translate or summarize your PDFs, and you can add digital signatures or even redact text like a secret little spy. Check out UPDF's limited time Black Friday sale by clicking the link in the description. You know why they're called quick bits, right? It's because they contain baking soda as a leavening agent instead of yeast. This is a joke about quick breads, like banana breads. I promise this is funny to people who cook. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> it helps me if I imagine a cooking person on the other end of the screen going, I <laughs> what? <laughs> Upgrading your MacBook's SSD is possible once again, thanks to repair YouTuber iBoffRCC, who created a custom PCB add-on and swappable SSD modules to replace soldered on storage in MacBooks with M-series processors. The module design isn't completely finalized yet, and once installed, you need a second Mac to run Apple Configurator to complete the setup, but that might not be a problem for Apple fans, especially any who might have just bought a second Mac mini when they discovered doing that costs the same as upgrading the RAM and storage. But come on, Apple's gotta pay their engineers to do their job worse than some random guy on YouTube. Meta says they have found a way to keep teens from lying about their age on Instagram. It's an AI powered tool the company calls an adult classifier, which sounds less like a tool for finding teens and more like a BuzzFeed quiz. Which Stanley Cup represents you? Instagram introduced teen accounts in September, which have stronger default privacy settings. The adult classifier will apparently sort users into one of two groups, older or younger than 18, based on those users' own account data, like their profile and what content they interact with. Unfortunately, after being exposed to thousands of 30-year-old Transformers enthusiasts, the classifier exploded. You're welcome. Steam's game recording feature is now out of beta, meaning it's available to all Sigmas, like me. The feature allows users to record gameplay without leaving the app. Even non-Steam games can be recorded as long as they allow Steam Overlay to run. In more good news, the Steam Deck will finally be available in Australia on November 19th. Finally, young impressionable Australians won't be participating in shady back alley deals where they purchase smuggled Steam Decks with their hard-earned dimmies and chicken salt. Now they can send their dimmies and chicken salt to me instead, please. Gotta send them some soy sauce. It's been ages since I had some dimmies. Got the rumblies. A YouTuber made an e-bike battery using 130 used disposable vapes to make a point about e-waste. Chris Dole took the individual batteries out of the vapes and converted them into a 48 volt, 1500 watt battery that powered an e-bike for more than 20 miles with almost no pedaling. Of course, it wasn't that easy to get his hands on 130 discarded vapes. He had to collect them at places like a music festival, just a single music festival, had hundreds of littered batteries that could explode if damaged. Was getting rid of cigarettes a bad idea? We're saving the kids' lungs, but at what cost? Are we? And the FTC has sued Dave. Sorry, not the guy in your fantasy football league, although that son of a bitch has it coming. Dave the banking app specializing in cash advances. The FTC says Dave misled customers, charged hidden fees, and made canceling memberships unreasonably difficult. In an official response, Dave said the lawsuit was regulatory overreach, possibly in between swigs of Pab's Blue Ribbon. If you let it get warm, it tastes like piss. <laughs> this is stupid, man. Dave thinks the government should leave him and his friends alone, including banking apps with normal guy names, and these are real, Marcus, Frank, Finn, and Mr. Cooper. You leave Coop alone! You leave Coop out of this! I'm picturing these as kids in like an 80s adventure movie, and Mr. Cooper is like the older role model for oh, the little yeah, yeah. gaggle of young- Guys, we gotta get Coop out of jail! So close. Now how about you be a role model for the rest of the audience and come back on Friday for more tech news? Sure, we're just using the tech news as an excuse to write silly things that make us giggle, but you can't argue the news isn't in there. This is a business.